Nothing like a little solitude to kick back and watch some TV. But you're not alone. Your TV is watching you. Nowadays, most new TVs connect to the internet to stream shows and movies on demand. They're also quietly sending out reports about everything you watch. Yes, everything. Television makers have figured out advertisers are willing to pay for data about what you watch. So they built in a technology called Automatic Content Recognition, or ACR, to track you. Here's how it works. Every few moments, ACR records just a few pixels or frames of whatever's on your screen, creating fingerprints. The TV sends these to a company that compares them to a database, like Shazam for video. The result? A detailed record of your household's TV time. What you watch says a lot about your interests and personality. The TV companies say this isn't personal information because TVs are usually shared by a whole household. But advertisers and data companies still find it valuable to judge you. ACR data allows them to know which household is watching a particular program so that they can target ads to impressionable audiences. So that's why you keep getting burger ads. And the tracking doesn't stop at your TV. Your phone, your laptop, and your iPad all have something in common with your smart TV. An IP address, your home's identity on the internet. That address is part of the ACR data your TV beams out. So companies can link up what you watch with what you browse, play, and do across all your screens. A marketer using ACR can figure out if you saw their ad and repeat it on all your other devices. Even after you leave your house, ACR data follows you. Marketers combine it with information about where you go and what you spend money on. If you bought a car, they'll know if you saw their ad on TV. Imagine the possibilities in politics. Using ACR and voter databases, campaigns can know which shows persuadable voters watch most, even when the programs have nothing to do with politics. Why is this happening? The shocking answer is because you let it. US law says your video watching history is private, so TV makers are supposed to ask you to opt in to track it. Don't remember doing that? Me neither. Sometimes the opt-in is hidden behind legalese when you set up your TV, or lumped into helpful seeming options like personalized recommendations. You can change this after the fact, but you'll have to dig around the settings. Otherwise, just accept you always have company over to watch TV.